Hey guys, happy new year. Um, today when I am filming this, it is actually January 1st. And if you watched my last video, um, you saw that one of my goals for 2019 is to try and become completely vegan by the end of the year. So I am starting Veganuary. And if you could obviously just put that together yourself, that is vegan January. So I am trying for a month to be completely vegan, so 100% plant-based. So I wanted to kind of show you guys sort of what I'm doing to prepare for that. Um, ideally, I should have been preparing for this throughout the week instead of on Wednesday. Um, but because I am already pretty much 80% plant-based, I have a lot of the stuff that I need for this. There are just some substitutes that I'm going to have to look into um, <clears throat> to swap out for some items that I usually have in my everyday diet. So I wanted to show you what my refrigerator and freezer look like and then also what my pantry looks like um, in preparation for Veganuary. So let's check out my fridge first. Okay, so this is pretty much how my fridge always looks. It's like very <laughs> empty, um, but that's just because I am a creature of habit. So my door is much fuller <laughs> than the inside, um, but I always have hummus because this is just easy for my lunches. So I'll usually do hummus with peppers. I have cucumbers and carrots. Um, I have grapes and that's just like my fruit. I'm not big on fruits sometimes. Um, I'll do clementines. I always have mushrooms because I can make really good pastas with mushrooms and also really good for in soups. Um, I have all of my plant-based milks. This is for smoothies and then my creamers for coffee. And then I use this coffee again for my smoothies. Um, I pretty much have a coffee smoothie every day for breakfast. I have the Just Egg um, and these are plant-based eggs. They're pretty good and very texturally, texturally similar to eggs. And then I have my vegan cream cheese and vegan butters um, and I just always have those. On hand, I have some dressings, not all of which are vegan, so some of those are just gonna sit there. Um, I have, this is a vegan dressing. It is Primal Kitchen Ranch Avocado. Um, it's okay, it's not great. I usually mix it with hot sauce, and then I do have the Primal Kitchen ketchup. Um, ketchup, ketchup is vegan, but that's just a better option. So then in my like dairy slash meat, drawer um i have grain free tortillas these i just prefer over regular tortillas um i think they taste more like homemade tortillas so i always have a pack of those you can actually get those at walmart and then i have these shirataki noodles and i use these all the time i pretty much make like an asian style stir fry every single week so i always have that um this in here is my vegan feta so I use BioLife's vegan feta. That's um, my favorite type of vegan cheese. So I have the BioLife mozzarella. I have the BioLife cheddar. Um, and then they actually make cheddar slices, which are really, really good. And I just used the last slice of that this morning. I do have a pack of extra firm tofu. To be honest, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but most recipes that I've seen require tofu. I've only ever made one thing with tofu before, so that should be interesting. And then I always like to have um, pulled jackfruit. So this is barbecue. And this one is just like in no sauce. It's just seasoned. Um, and so I'll make tacos or like sandwiches with that. And then I always have like peppers again for either cooking or dipping in hummus. And then I always have like lettuce and spinach. Spinach will go in my smoothies. And then sometimes I just want salads. Always avocados um, because I live off of avocados. I like them my salads and avocado toast. I think I broke the drawer. And then again, fruits, I'm not big on fruits. So I just have apples. 
So now into the freezer, and this is a bit of a mess. I try to keep it organized, um, ignore the fact that my ice machine is missing, something is wrong, and it just keeps freezing over. But so I try and keep it organized. The top shelf is everything I need pretty much for smoothies, except for you can see some of it has uh, migrated down to my soup shelf. But so I always have frozen cauliflower and kale. This is frozen bananas and then just some different fruits for um, my breakfast smoothies. This is my soup shelf. Um, so any soups that I have made, I always make them in large batches and then freeze them. And then I have just like miscellaneous vegetables that do not fit in the vegetable drawer. As you can see again, lots and lots of cauliflower. I go through about two and a half to three bags of cauliflower a week just for my smoothies. And then I always get like an assortment of Asian style vegetables, vegetables, um, because again, I said I always make stir fry. And as much as I would love to say that I cook all the vegetables fresh, that is a lie. Um, this is like my meat rack. In the back, I do actually have meat that I don't eat. Um, I need to probably pitch it. The only thing that I do eat is sometimes turkey burgers. But so I have black bean burgers, I have black rice burgers. These are so good. Hillary's makes the best plant-based like burger patties and sausage patties. Um, I have these, which I have not tried yet, but they are vegan buffalo wings. They're called fruffalo wings. Um, so I don't know, I got them in case I was craving chicken. And then I did get um, some chicken nuggets, vegan chicken nuggets. And they're not great for you, like the ingredients aren't so great, but I figured in a pinch, if I'm really craving chicken, I will just have those. And then I have the Beyond Crumbles. Um, I tried this with the Mexican seasoning and I didn't like it, so I'm gonna try it with just the plain and see. Um, I think I might end up just getting like the fresh, fresh Beyond Meat. In the door, I have like quick meals. So like if I'm not, if I don't feel like cooking, just like a microwave dinner. Um, so a Pad Thai and a Jap Che, I don't know. And then my vegan mac and cheese can't live without that and then I just found these and I'm kind of surprised it is sweet potato toast and I've been making avocado toast out of it and if you look down in there they're literally just slices of sweet potato that I could just do myself but why would I and then I have some Dave's bread um, it's my favorite bread it's not gluten free but I don't eat bread that often. And then the bottom drawer is like breakfast type foods. So like if I make muffins, I always freeze them and keep them. Um, these bagels are my favorite. However, they are not vegan. So I do need to find an alternative for January. And then I have some cauliflower packs, which I usually will do like an egg scramble um, or like an egg bake and that's like the crust. So that's pretty much my freezer. And now my pantry. So this is by far, I don't know. It's the most organized, but there's not much to it. Um, I have just a bunch of nut butters. I like Crazy Richards because they only have peanuts. Um, so I have a creamy, a crunchy, and then I have their peanut butter powder, which I'll use for smoothies and then cashew butter. Um, these are something I just found. They are Nature's Bakery and they are vegan and I think they're gluten free. I don't know, don't quote me on that, but they are plant-based. So this is just for like when I'm craving um, something. So they're pretty good. Um, I'm not in love, like they make it sound like, you know, the ingredients are super great but they're not that great. Um, number two is cane sugar. So these are really like not for everyday eating. It's just if I'm having like a ridiculous craving that I just can't avoid. Um, <clears throat> but again, not something that I would eat every single day. So then I do have some vegan chocolates. Um, shout out to my teammate for getting me all of that. 
So some vegan caramel chocolate. And then I have cacao nibs, and those are for my smoothies. I have granola to put like a little crunch in my smoothie. I always have a tub of dates. I will literally just snack on dates like this, or sometimes I'll put like peanut butter down in the dates and then top it with a couple pieces of vegan dark chocolate. Um, I always have pecans and cashews. These are cashews for snacking and then I just kind of get like junky cashews for um, my stir fry. I always have bonsa pasta. This is my absolute favorite. Um, it tastes just like pasta and it holds pretty well when you boil it. I always have like pasta sauce, black beans. Um, Rouse is my favorite marinara and it is all natural. Always have chickpeas, sometimes refried beans. I don't really use those that much, to be honest. Um, tahini for making my own hummus when I'm feeling ambitious, which is not very frequently. Coconut milk, and then all of my blender bombs. So smoothies are the biggest part of my, <clears throat> I guess, diet. Um, I pretty much have a smoothie every single day, so I always need to have bananas and I prefer them to be green tip. This is a little green so they're sitting out. Um, once they kind of turn I'll put them straight in the freezer so that they are ready for my smoothies. I always have to have cauliflower because again I put that in my smoothies. That's how I get um, a lot of the vegetable servings that I need. Um, I know that sounds really gross but you honestly cannot taste cauliflower in your smoothies. Um, like you can taste a lot of other vegetables that people put in like kale and spinach um, when I do put kale and spinach in my smoothies I put very little amounts and they usually will go in if I'm out of cauliflower um, so those are staples that I always 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 have to have and you will notice I don't have a lot of fresh vegetables which I did I, I do wish that I did um, but I'm not a big person on like having to prep things. I don't like having to cut things and I'm very good at buying things and letting them go bad. So just having peppers and cucumbers that I have to cut is like pretty ambitious for me. So if you are someone who likes to do all of those things, um, instead of buying like the bags of frozen vegetables for like the stir fry, it honestly does take tastes a thousand times better if you use fresh. I have done that before um, because one time I bought a bunch of vegetables for like a party or something and then they didn't get eaten and I just like happened to have all of the vegetables I needed for stir fry and so I made it fresh and it was so much better but as far as like time constraints I just will eat the, the less superior just so that I don't have to prep all that stuff and chop it all up. So that's pretty much what I have in my fridge and my pantry at all times. Um, the only thing that I didn't have because I used the last one up today was the Hillary's. They have a breakfast sausage that I really like. Um, and like I said, I just ate the last one. So other than that, that's pretty much what I have all the time. So um, if you guys have any recommendations for vegan and gluten-free breads or bagels, or I do have waffles that, um, I use most Vans waffles are vegan and gluten-free. Um, so I do use those and sometimes I make breakfast sandwiches with those, but I would like like a bread or a bagel that is grain free and gluten free so if you have one that you really like and it's not ridiculously expensive like I know there's a lot of brands that you can order online and they'll ship them to you um, but I'm not paying $36 for 12 bagels like that's just not that's just not happening for me so if you have an affordable one that you can get from the grocery store please let me know and if you have any other items that you like swear by have to have in your pantry for a vegan lifestyle also let me know in the comments below because um, I am still very new to this and obviously the full 100% I'm very very new to um, I'm used to doing 80% where I can have like eggs 
in some of my breads and and some of the as some of the ingredients um which if you don't know a lot of morning star items actually have dairy and eggs in them so be really careful just because it's vegetarian does not mean it's vegan i had to learn that i almost bought their breakfast sausages yesterday in preparation because they're cheaper than hillary's um and luckily i checked the ingredients and they are not vegan so just kind of be careful if you are starting out um and but also don't like get down on yourself if you're like new to this you're gonna make mistakes and you're going to i don't want to say mess up because i don't think anyone intentionally is but i i think it's hard um there's a lot of stuff that has stuff kind of hidden within it that you're not aware of and that you wouldn't think would be in the food items so just you know check things out don't get down on yourself if you <clears throat> mess up or if you have something that's not 100 percent vegan um i don't know if anyone has just completely been able to go from a 100 percent meat-based diet to vegan like that i think it takes some work i think it's going to be hard for me even going from 80 percent to 100 <clears throat> percent this month but I will keep checking in with you guys throughout the month. Um, I will give you some recipe ideas, try out some new recipes that I have not done before, figure out what in the world to do with that tofu that's sitting in my refrigerator. And yeah, so hopefully you guys um, enjoyed kind of seeing into my refrigerator and pantry, I don't know. So it's like a horrible portion of MTV Cribs. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so that's how I am preparing for Veganuary. And if you guys have any questions, let me know below. Any recommendations, let me know below. And um, whatever you do, don't tell me that I'm an idiot because it's my choice and I can do whatever I want. So thanks. See you guys.